Okay. Hi, everybody. It's May 28th. It's Tuesday. I hope you're all having a really good day. Oh, Sophia, that was really loud. Is that coffee being made? That's okay. That was powerful coffee. That was like a an industrial size something, <laughs> jet engine powered. Um, yeah, it's fine though. It doesn't really matter, I think. Let me share. Here we go. Yeah, there's Elder Co. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're trickling in. For the first few minutes, it was just Sophie and myself, and then Alice joined, and we thought, oh, maybe we won't have a meeting today, but now we have enough folks. So thank you for showing up, everybody. <clears throat> here are the minutes. Let me drop them in the chat here. There you go. And if you'd like to add your name to the agenda, that'd be great. Tell us how your weather is today. Um, I'm always curious about that. Um, the other question I might ask next week is about uh, sun rise and sunset, because I think that's also really interesting because I'm an, a big nerd like that. <laughs> um, it just got me thinking because Sean's in Finland and he was saying that, you know, they just don't really get any nighttime right now. So it's just super interesting, I think. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's what I think about in my time off. Okay, so we do have some folks missing um, that added some things to the agenda. So I am expressing these items on their behalf. Um, so if you have questions, I probably can't answer them, but <laughs> we, uh, we will certainly um, write them in here and pass them along to those folks. So this one is from Don uh, saying that the bus factor, we are gonna rename it to contributor risk. And I'm just looking here at this very, very long issue of 63 comments. So let's go to the very bottom and see. Oh, okay. It just kind of uh, kind of ended. So I don't know if there's another place this discussion was happening or where the decision was made. But um, yeah, contributor risk. We have a we have a winner. So yay, let's put a little party popper in there. Um, does anybody have any feedback uh, questions anything we can pass along to Don when she comes back. Is this is this the official settled name or the current proposed name. I it's a good question. I don't know. Uh, let's put this in. Is this confirmed or is this the um, would you say the best candidate. Yeah, because I think I, I remember having that discussion and I think it did seem like the best candidate. Um, I think my only concern is that it's not specific enough and that it's like risk could mean a number of things. So it, it could be like contributor abandonment risk, um, which I think is more, but like not ex exactly what we mean, but like, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like this, this is a hard thing to name. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel her pain. Okay. All right. Yeah, there were a lot of a lot of uh, feed a lot of a lot of bits of feedback and a lot of feels about this. It's a hard thing to name for sure. Um, but we'll pass that along to Don and get some clarification from her on that. Any other questions or anything for Don about this? We also maybe discussing this uh, in the metric development working group. I'm curious about that. Anybody else have questions? Okie dokie. We will go on. We do have a new metric template that Matt put together. And again, I'm just, um, I'm the messenger. Um, so if you have questions on this, I don't know that I can answer them, but um, I'm here on his behalf. So um, here was the proposed metric template that he's working from. And I think the whole idea is to simplify because our some of our metrics are pretty long. And I think we're kind of um, afraid that folks aren't gonna actually read through. So what we're gonna try to do is, so we'll just have the metric name, the question, an overview, which is, I think, where he has brought the overview and description together, because sometimes they were kind of overlapping and it wasn't really clear what should go in what. So it's just going to be one overview, not to exceed 200 words. So very simple, very simple. 
Um, and then we're going to have this, we're going to try to do this drop down via markdown, which you can do. Um, so if they want to know more, they can click that and then they'll have all the information. So it's really just kind of hiding stuff. So it's not so overwhelming and such a wall of text for folks. Um, and then we're going to say references encouraged, contributors encouraged, but not required. And then he has done um, an example right here, so you can see what it would look like. Um, and this says in progress, so contributor location. And then here's the filters that we had had. So this part again will just be hidden. And then references and contributors are not on here. So what do we think? Do we like it? I like that it's a little shorter. Uh, makes sense. I'm just doing this for Matt's benefit because he's like, take notes. <laughs> so I'm taking notes. <laughs> I'll put an exclamation point on there. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I was just gonna say, I think we in the past have had more conflict in the why, what's the difference between these two sections and what do we use for one and the other? So I think just making it a little bit shorter and more concise allows people to be more flexible with each one. Um, but also, yeah, I, I generally like it, I think. I guess the general question I would have is, is this just for new metrics going forward yeah. or are we gonna go back and retroactively update existing metrics? It'll be, it'll be all of them. We'll, we'll go back and, uh, and do all of them. So uh, the, the comment that I would have on it is that I, I think we still need to be a little more explicit in the overview. So uh, it's, Kind of when we're when we're describing the metric, there there are two things that we want to grab. We want to kind of grab explicitly what the metric measures, and then what that measurement can inform. Uh, and right now, it's it's a little vague. Uh, so I, I I would like that overview to be a little more explicit uh, about the actual measurement, and then what that measurement can inform. I'm <clears throat> Kevin, I'm going to leave this in here. Do you want to also maybe put a comment in here to that effect as well? I can, I can, I'm, I've been in most of the meetings discussing this, so I'll, I'll just mention it next time we, we okay. talk about it. So. Okay, perfect. And then so. this will be in the probably metrics development working group, I would imagine. As well uh, as yeah, I think, I think it showed up in a couple meetings, but the okay. metrics development group, I think is where it lives. Okay. Just in case people want to give more feedback or be a part of that. Um, okay. And then the next thing here says keeping track in our chaos metrics spreadsheet. Oh, Alice, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, that's okay. Um, for the template, I wonder if it would be helpful to link to any practitioner guide that the metrics mentioned in and vice versa. I, I think I can respond to that. Uh, there is a section at the bottom uh, that will have references. Uh, so the in the in the reference section, our, our goal there is to to link to academic literature and practitioner literature uh, oh, okay. that supports or uses that metric. Uh, so uh, I, I I I think that is does that uh. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 it is a reference, technically. I think it maybe stands slightly above some of the uh, references as they would be used in an academic sense. You know, it's not just a source. It is actually a chaos provided guide that is like an, another, um, it's more contextual, but um, there's no reason why it couldn't form part of that section. 
so I, I should note that we uh, in the in the discussions around uh, simplifying the uh, metric sheet, we were actually kind of we're moving away from uh, explicitly referencing tools that use the metric. So um, in the in the previous metric template, we would point to the Augur tool or Grimoire Lab, or yeah. if we or if there was a tool that was using the metric. Uh, uh, Using the metric externally, we would point to that as well. Uh, uh, so what we would in these discussions and simplifying the metric, uh, what was discussed was kind of moving those uh, uh, references to uh, uh, practical applications and academic literature into the references, and then also adding the uh, any visualizations that are created uh, based on those tools we would add the tool citation into the uh the image basically where the where the image came from and and when it was was grabbed uh, but but in general the conversations around simplifying this have been have been about actually kind of removing some of those uh explicit tool references yeah i mean i'm happy that you know it is part of the conversation and you are thinking about it my only uh obviously i'm not very close to this so i'm, I'm i don't Forgive me if I'm sort of going against what's already been discussed, but in terms of making it shorter, I presume that's to sort of improve, you know, the ability of people to easily absorb what it's saying and to, for to, it not to be too verbose. And I'm not sure that removing links to removing links to useful things is actually improving usability, perhaps. But it might just be. Do you, do you know what I mean? There's also a stability issue. So the uh, the links to the the tools, uh, they don't stay. Uh, they don't stay stable over time. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then uh, I think another consideration is that the uh, the metrics are kind of supposed to be kind of that foundational metric that we or foundational document that we can point to. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have kind of other, there are other initiatives in chaos that are kind of focusing on more practical usage of the metrics. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and maybe those places are where we kind of take a deeper dive into the, uh, the tooling and how the metrics and the models can be used. Uh, and it's, a, it's an ongoing conversation. So I would, uh, if you're, if you're interested in, uh, in, uh, continuing this conversation to what uh to what Elizabeth said earlier uh you should definitely come to the 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 metrics working group meeting because none of this is set in stone it's it is an on, ongoing conversation so. okay cool yeah thank you I mean listen I'm, I'm not really a user of the reference docs so it, I I'm only sort of speaking heuristically and I don't necessarily um want to unduly push my opinions into it um, when it's it's kind of you know I'm not I'm not the intended audience but I thought I'd raise it just as, as a thought. Alice to your point um, about linking to the practitioner guides or metrics models um, I think it would be an interesting uh, activity or uh, 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 just so that we would know which models show up a lot or which metrics show up in a lot of places like what what are our core metrics you know that are like if if there's a metric that happens or shows up in every practitioner guide or every metrics model like i think that would be interesting to know that um, and we do you know obviously link the other way but i see what you're saying about linking back to those so um yeah. maybe there's a way we can do that in another place or like more visually I think would be interesting. I don't know. Yeah, I, I definitely agree that it would be interesting to have that. And we're and we are very interested in in heuristics. Uh, it's just kind of a these documents can't be everything. So we're uh, so we're trying to simplify them to a state that makes them manageable over time. And then the, those heuristics conversations and practical guides, we, we kind of want to have those conversations in other places. Uh, or, or other documents, but I think we're we're all definitely interested in, in those things. Though it's just yeah. I think 
I think we're we're just trying to make these this document manageable over time so yeah. that we're not having to uh, re-release it every year or. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not uh, you know I don't want perfect to be the enemy of good here. I mean, yeah, in an ideal world, it would be everything would be automatically cross-linked and it would all stay up to date and you know that isn't always possible and sometimes keeping it simpler for this and and having it remain a bit more stable is the right choice to make so yeah i i i, I understand your point for sure okay any other uh comments or feedback we want to add to this before we go on to the talk about this in chaos metrics i'm not sure if Kevin, do you know, was Matt saying we should have a, a, a or just, I, I'm not sure what he means by keeping track in the metrics spreadsheet. Do you happen to know? Keeping track of, of what in the metric spreadsheet? He just has keeping track in our chaos metric spreadsheet. So I'm not sure if he's talking about like, as we implement this new, um, new template to our old metrics, like keeping track of that or there is a tab in that metric spreadsheet uh, that covers the revisions. So, uh, the, and in that, yeah, in the one, I, I forget what the tab is. I don't have it open, but yeah. uh, if you pull it open, it basically it's a list of all of our metrics. And then uh, there's a place for comments. Uh, there's a place for kind of capturing this metrics needs to be revised. This one has been revised revised uh, so on so maybe so maybe that is what he's talking about okay so yeah that makes sense it looks like mm -hmm. he does have a um column here says follows v2 template mm -hmm. so he's done a lot of work already yeah it looks like and and uh i just wanted to add one other thing uh alice with the uh the the website knowledge base so we we do have uh we do have the ability to kind of group some of these together where we can see the metrics and the models and the tools uh, and how they all kind of fit together. Uh, I think that's, I think that's kind of something that we can, we can look at as we're, uh, we're going forward. But we, when we go to the website, we can, we can search and we can categorize and we can, we can put some, bring some of this, the heuristic stuff together with it on the website, uh, basically connecting these documents without having the explicit links in the documents. Uh, so something to consider in the future. Great. Okay. Kevin, have you been also doing some of this implementation? For of the, the new, of the new template. The, the new we haven't we haven't landed on the finished product yet, so okay. uh, we're still we're still kind of ironing out the uh, the details. So I think the okay. I think we're really close. So I think the the presentation of the the template today was kind of meant to be a like we're almost done is there any feedback from the community uh if the community kind of says we like it and go ahead uh then we'll just kind of then we're probably uh we can probably move forward pretty fast okay so i wonder what this is then this follows v2 template maybe he just was copying from another i don't know Okay. This would be our third template. So oh. the, the version two template came out uh, two or three years ago. Okay, got you. Okay, so some are really old and don't even follow that one. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we still have some that follow the version one template, which is those are the ones. If if Matt was here, he would he would tell you about how we when we first started uh, uh, making these metrics, we were putting in like. SQL statements to to grab to create the metrics from uh, using Augur or Grimoire Lab. So so there were like SQL statements in the documents, and uh, then there are some that still have those SQL statements in them. So there's a uh, uh, all of our metrics will have to uh, go through this process because of that to uh, to reiterate what was asked earlier. Okay, uh, got you, got you, got you. Our, so that's, our first that's generation metrics are out of date. <laughs> Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So this is where it would go. Probably we'll just add another column. Okay. As we go. Okay, cool. All right. Any final feedback 
for comments. Okay, let's go on to this. Uh, that is from Georg, who is also not here. <laughs> asked, me to, asked me to share this with the group. Um, this is the, oh, okay. <laughs> the, okay, so we have another Slack problem. I tried to download it and it's only a PDF, which I couldn't put in this doc. So go to the Slack uh, channel. Yeah, somebody wants to put a link in there. I'm always afraid to open Slack live and recorded so somebody somebody uh do that and then put the picture in here if you can figure it out like maybe a screenshot or something and then we'll come back to this so um alice do you want to go ahead and talk about the community or community communications working group yeah of course um i just i'm gonna cough any moment now i just know it um hang on All right, let's try. Um, so yeah, so we've been sort of trailing the reboot of the communications working group, or, or perhaps it's just an evolution. Um, we had the first call the other day. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we covered a lot of um, just sort of getting to know you stuff, where we were able to talk about, you know, our skills. <coughs> Sorry, Alice. <laughs> I hope you're okay. I hope you're all right. Um, let's click on this. We can click on the notes here and look through these. Um, yeah, so here's what they talked about and what they think the group should do and be focused on action items. Awesome. And let's see what else was here. Oh, the recording is there. And then if you anybody wants to be a part of this and wants to join this channel, there you go. You can do that right there. Sophia says postcard looks great. Okay, thank you, Sophia. <laughs> I'll put that here. Oh, my dogs are barking. I'm so sorry if that's loud. I can't tell, but. Ugh. This is a weird day. It's a weird meeting day. I don't know. I'm all I'm all out of sorts. Okay, so um, Alice, if there's any other thing, um, you can just drop it either in the chat here or um, yeah, I think this is a pretty, pretty good update. So the important thing is that the meeting will be happening, but it's not been determined yet. So join this channel if y'all want to get involved. And yeah, Alice says, please just take a look at the notes. Sorry. Oh, Alice, I hope you're feeling better soon. And that comes to the end of the meeting. So um, if we have questions on anything we've talked about, comments, anything. Anybody wants to add before we close the meeting a little early unless somebody does somebody have any other agenda items they want to add talk about anything from chaos africa i know that you all have your um your disability workshop coming up right june something 10th 13th something like that if anybody wants to speak to that great if not that's cool too All right, we are not talkative today. <laughs> totally valid. That's completely fine. Um, okay, we'll just end the meeting then. I don't think we have anything else. So I only have like un unhelpful things to ask you, Elizabeth. <laughs> I doubt that very much. I'm just curious if you still have all your pets or if you've been able to offload some back to your children. Um, no, they all are here, and I have additional ones that I'm I'm sitting for too. So we have two dogs, a cat, and two guinea pigs here. So it's a little menagerie and they're all kind of sequestered. And every time you open the door, the cat tries to make a run for it. You know, it's typical craziness. Yeah. Very sweet. They're all very sweet though. So 
Yeah. I was telling my mom about you actually this weekend. She, <laughs> <laughs> she gets always upset when my sister comes over and dumps her cat on her for a week. Um, and I, I left my aloe plant is my child that I've left with her since we moved into an apartment where there's no separation between my cats and my aloe. Um, so they're at my parents' house. Um, but it's this thing where the parents easily become the like, the animal offload the new, um, yeah <laughs> and I was like well at least you're not dealing with what my friend Elizabeth is going through <laughs> yeah so if anybody has any extra pets just bring them over it's fine it's good we'll just you know add them to the list it's totally fine <laughs> Elizabeth right. if you want me to share my screen we can look at that postcard oh yeah yeah feel free that'd be great well, I can Where's that at? Perfect. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you uh -huh. for doing that. I think it looks good. And for those who aren't familiar with what this is, this is the postcard that gets sent to the um, chaos cast guests so they'll just get a thank you from us anybody have any other comments besides looks okay uh, am i muted i can't tell no. Okay. I was talking. Gonna, sorry. Uh, maybe add a maybe add a code to the to the sound. Oh no. Uh, code to the Chaos Cast founder part. Was he the only one that founded it, or? I don't know. I thought so, but I don't know. We can look. I thought there were I thought there were two or three people involved with that initially. I could be I could be wrong. Maybe 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 founder is is correct. Uh, maybe maybe something to ask him. Okay, let's put that in the notes. Um, where was that? Oh, here we go. I just don't don't want anyone to feel left out if they were yeah. they were part of that. Uh, let's just put this. Okay. Yeah, great question. We'll find out. Anybody have any other feedback, questions, comments? Okay. Thank you, Kevin. I guess we're good. All right. We have, you get a little bit of time left, 16 minutes left. So no, you're welcome. Everybody have a great rest of your day and week, and we will see you all here same time next week, same place. Bye, everybody. See ya.